Creo. Welcome back. We are jumping straight into another Paris Corner review. This time we are looking at Paris Corner's Care Fusion. Now this is famously a alleged dupe of Kaoli's Eden Sparkling Lychee. Now, if you're a longtime viewer of this channel, you might remember that I did actually buy Eden Sparkling Lychee at launch. I did a whole video on it and spoiler alert, I wasn't super impressed with the wear. I thought the initial spray was very beautiful, actually reminds me of like a Smackers lip balm, I think I mentioned in that review. So very childlike, very fun, but the fruitiness didn't last how I was hoping. So for today, I'm hoping that Paris Corners version can maybe deliver on the longevity, that would be great. If you're not familiar with these head-to-head -head reviews, I like to do these videos in two parts. In the first part, I will directly compare the initial spray of both fragrances I'll spray one on each arm and tell you my initial thoughts. In the second part, I'll step away, leave for about an hour, two hours, wait for it to warm up on the skin, and then give you an update on how the fragrances differ, how they've warmed up, if the scent has changed, which it normally does. And I find that giving it an hour or two usually gives a good indication of how the fragrance will wear throughout the day. So before we start the direct comparison, let's talk about notes. So in Eden Sparkling Lychee, of course, you've got a top filled with beautiful beautiful fruits. You've got, of course, the star of the show, which is the lychee itself. You've got some accompaniments of apple and black currant to help up the sweetness, in addition to lemon. In the middle, you've got some florals. You've got violet. You've got rose. You've got jasmine. And in the base, you've got amber. You've got some cedar wood, musk, vanilla, and sandalwood. As for the notes in Paris Corners Care Fusion, they claim to basically have the exact same notes with the exception of the amber in the base. So you've still got that lychee in the top. You still have the bouquet of rose and violet and jasmine in the heart. And the dry down is almost exactly the same other than the amber. Of course, notes alone don't tell the whole story. So let's find out how similar they really are. All right, first off, I will spray sparkling lychee on my left. Very beautiful, soft, slightly powdery lychee. I think I mentioned this in my review before. It really reminds me of like a Smackers lip balm. It's a very nostalgic smell for me, which is actually very enjoyable. I would say that there is like a bit of a waxiness, a softness, almost kind of like a muted quality to the fruits. There's less of that sparkling quality that I would expect to see in something that calls itself sparkling. Usually I associate sparkling with like a Prosecco or a champagne note that gives it like that fizzy bubbly quality. The fruits are still really beautiful. You've got that really beautiful powdery violet. The rose and the jasmine aren't too strong. I can pick them up, but they're not too strong. They're really letting the fruit shine on the initial spray. And the woods and musk round it out really nicely, gives it some good grounding, but the musk is not too overwhelming. It's very soft in this. In addition to the vanilla, it's very, very soft. Of course, it's not a full review of sparkling lychee, I already have a video on that, which I'll link. Now for Care's version. Immediately heavier on the fruit. I think the apple might be a little bit stronger in the Paris Corner version. A little less powdery, maybe slightly more juicy. That's probably the apple doing that. The apple's a little bit more forward than the lychee, but I feel overall that the initial spray is just ever slightly more juicy in the Paris Corner. It's a bit more fresh smelling, slightly less powdery. But to be honest, you guys, the initial spray, these are very similar. I would say that of the dupes that I have smelled, this is very good as far as imitating the initial spray of a fragrance. This is very close. Like I said, the only difference that I'm really picking up is maybe the, the powderiness isn't quite as strong, so maybe the florals aren't as strong. There's not as heavy of a, of a vanilla facet, perhaps. It's a little bit more juicy. Other than that, I do still get kind of that Smackers-esque smell, but perhaps it is a little less waxy, actually. I feel that the fruit is a bit stronger, breaking through that powdery waxiness that I feel like Sparkling Lychee has. Absolutely beautiful. This is much, much closer than the Care Pistachio that I just did a video on yesterday. I feel like this is way, way closer on the initial spray. I'm really excited to see how Paris Corners change because if this retains the fruitiness that it's giving right now, that really strong lychee and apple, I'm super impressed. I'm actually so impressed by this. Okay, the sparkling lychee, beautiful scent. It's got, again, it's got that waxiness, so it almost makes it more like makeup-y. It kind of reminds me of like a makeup-y smell, maybe a stronger violet 
facet. I think that's what makes it kind of young and maybe more muted and gives it like that little bit of a waxiness. Hairs just has a stronger fruit. I'm just getting much stronger lychee juiciness from Care Fusion on initial spray. Very impressed by this one so far, but I'm going to step away. I'll leave for about an hour. It kind of depends on how I feel they're changing and how if I think they need more time. So at the moment it's 307. So I will see you a little after four. One hour later. Hey guys, I am back. It's been a little over an hour. It's 418 now. An assessment of the dry down. Hey Ollie's, it's it's very similar to the first review I did where it kind of dried down. Very powdery, like a little bit of sweetness, maybe a tiny bit of fruit, but it's a very vanilla-y powder. As for Paris Corner, I think the dry down on Paris Corner is a lot muskier. It does seem to be projecting a lot better after an hour. There is still a little bit of that like waxiness that has a slight hint of fruit in Kaoli's. As for Care Fusion, it's still pretty fruity. It's just that musk is a lot stronger. So I'm not picking up really much vanilla or powderiness. It's quite musky. Now, if you're someone who's sensitive to musk like me, that might be something just to look out for and be aware of. If you can get your hands on a sample, I would definitely try sampling it first before you buy, if it's worth it for you economically, that is. But unfortunately, because of how heavy the musk is on the dry down in Paris Corners version, I'm not sure how I would personally go spraying it more so so, you know, spraying it all over and not just my hand, I did start to feel like mm, just a little bit of that like nagging feeling in my head, like I could get a headache. But to be honest, they're both kind of musky. It's just definitely stronger in Paris Corners on the dry down. So then it depends. Do you want a slightly fruity, vanilla y, powdery, with a little bit of a waxiness dry down from Kaoli? Or do you want a heavier musk dry down with still that fruitiness from Paris Corner? I think these are differences that you're mostly going to pick up when you're really, really close. But like I mentioned, with the longevity issue that I have from Sparkling Lychee, I would definitely need to reapply this multiple times throughout the day, I think, to get the scent and the projection that I want. Whereas with Paris Corner, I don't think I would necessarily need to do that. It seems like the projection is a lot better. It's a lot stronger on the musk in the base on the dry down. But if that's something that you're just not sensitive to, I'm only mentioning it because I'm just someone who's sensitive to certain musks. I'm going to continue to test Care Fusion by Paris Corner. Of course, if my thoughts change or I have any updates on how I feel it's wearing, I will definitely give them in my end of the month videos, which my next one will be coming up very soon. I hope that this comparison has helped. If you own these fragrances, do you agree with my assessment? If you own one or the other, do you prefer one or the other? I think overall, Care Fusion is pretty good. I think it's pretty good, especially off the initial spray. It is so, so similar. It's slightly juicy the projection is better. So if you don't have an issue or sensitivity with musks, you really like the scent profile of Sparkling Lychee, you just can't fork over the pretty penny for a full bottle. I think Paris Corners Care Fusion is a pretty good dupe, and it's definitely one of the better dupes that I've smelled recently. If you enjoy comparisons like these, I highly recommend that you subscribe. Look out for my end of the month video. It should be coming in the next week or so. Thank you so much for watching, and you will see me in the next one.